everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. We're back here for the 70th episode, guys. And once again, a huge thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. Last episode, we got like over 5,000 likes, guys, which is fantastic. I'm really, really glad that you guys enjoy the snapshot episodes. Uh, obviously, in the last episode, we went ahead and took down a piglin bastion. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. It's a really, really awesome new structure with a whole bunch of epic loot. And it's it's a great time, my friends. It really, really is. Now, in today's episode, we're going to work some more on Blackstone Manor. And also, for the first time this series, we are going to respawn the Ender Dragon and try to take him down in a weird and wonderful way. Okay, so it's going to be a great time, my friends. A nice jam-packed episode for you. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, then as always, 3,000 likes is what we're looking for in terms of a goal. So... What are we going to work on with Blackstone Manor? Well, I was thinking the walls so we could fully enclose uh, this uh, entrance here, area right here, okay? So we've got this uh, pillar here. This is going to be the edge of the wall. And then it sort of goes around the corner here, okay? And then this area here would be a window. And then this is the main entrance into the actual manor itself. So I'm very much looking forward to getting this thing underway. So one thing I have done since the last episode is I actually set up a snow farm and this to be honest is probably the most efficient snow farm that you could get in minecraft right if i was to go ahead and make myself a couple iron shovels here uh so just a couple of them there we go guys check this out so we head down onto the slab we've got some minecart with hoppers uh trapped in the block that the uh, snow golems are on, right? So all I did is I placed down the uh, minecart with hoppers first, got rid of the rail, and then pushed a block into the space where the minecart is. So yeah, it will go ahead and pick up the snowballs no matter what, go down into the hopper and down into the output chest. So guys, check this out. If we aim towards the middle here, you can see that, uh, yeah, we are, we're getting rather a lot of snow as evident by the fact that the durability of my shovel is absolutely dry raining the heck out. Look at it, guys. Look at it. And it's done. Alright, and next! Alright, let's have ourselves another little load here. And yeah, the uh, minecart with hoppers will, for the most part, get rid of all of the uh, snowballs that are being dropped. But of course, uh, you know, there's only so much they can carry, right? Because there's only a stack size of, what is it, 16 or something? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not full, guys. That's not full. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of snow, huh? <laughs> It's so easy to make, man. It really, really is. Uh, I've been saying for the longest time I want to do some, like, little micro-tutorials. And if you guys would be interested, I I'd be more than happy to go ahead and give you guys a micro-tutorial video uh, for this little snow farm here. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get any more efficient snow farm than this. So, I don't know, man. If you guys are interested, let me know. Oh, yes. That's the last episode. Uh, yeah, I've also got myself another shulker box full of blackstone. So, we've still got all of the blackstone from the last episode, or the last building episode, should I say, but uh, now we have a turn more, which is beautiful because we're definitely going to need it. So, polished blackstone is definitely something we're going to be needing. Uh, some chiseled blackstone is definitely something else we're going to be needing. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into this thing. Okay, so, in terms of the side, guys, in terms of the side, all we're going to do is sort of build up the walls around here, okay? So, it's, we're doing it to the point where it's all feeling nice and enclosed. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And of course, anything we do on this side will have to be mirrored on this side because we're going for a nice symmetrical build here with Blackstone Manor because I kind of enjoy it. So yeah, let's go and grab ourselves uh, some more of these here blocks and place them all down. There we go. Looking cool. All right, guys. So it's time to add a little bit more shape to this wall in the way of iron bars and slabs and stairs and such. You may notice I've placed down some some chiseled blackstone here already, which is obviously really, really nice. Now, behind this, we're going to have ourselves the layer of snow for the actual windows themselves. So let's just go ahead and get ourselves up here. Okay, and then we're going to start building up the walls. Okay, this should be a fairly simple procedure, all things considered. Uh, so we need to go all the way up to the uh, chiseled blackstone. Uh, this is sort of the separator between the windows. So we need to go one, two, three blocks up, four 
blocks up and then a cover. Okay, that's how this is going to work. So, let's come over here. One, two, three, four, and then cover. And then we do a little bit of that to make it into a proper window shape. Uh, and do the same here. So, one, two, three, four, cover upwards and again cover and then i think what we'll just do is just sort of make it into a nice square because it doesn't really matter if we've got squares going on because we're going to wind up uh, shaping it with a whole bunch of other blocks anyway so it doesn't really matter all right guys so at this point i'm adding a little bit more shape in terms of the uh, slabs and stairs that i'm using so what we're going to do is wind up bringing out a slab here because uh, one of the things that i've really tried to emphasize with this build as i went along in my creative test world is uh, depth. I wanted to have a good amount of depth to this build. So uh, this is what we're looking like so far in terms of the windows and it's looking pretty good, right? There's a good amount of shape to it, good amount of depth to it and uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm rather enjoying it I have to say. Right, I'm pretty sure I have to have a stair block either side and the corners there uh, so we can go ahead and get that done in a hot second here. Oh my goodness, I really wish I had uh, scaffolding blocks, but uh, I can't be bothered to go back to base and get them. <laughs> okay, so we are grabbing ourselves some uh, chiseled blackstone and also some iron bars. And the idea is we go ahead and add in a nice little sort of decorative thing up top here. And then behind some of them, behind some of the iron bars, that is, we'll go ahead and put some lava in just for a little bit of lighting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. This is getting there, isn't it? Okay. Well, it's a good thing we have ourselves a nice lava pool nearby uh, because, yeah, we'll be able to uh, get the old decorations going pretty darn easily. So I think I'm going to have lava in, oh, wait, in this section here. Okay, so let's just build the back of that up. Okay, and then we'll have another lava section in here. Uh, we'll cover it up with slabs or something like that. And then at the back here, again, we'll just cover it up. So, yeah, guys, if you can't tell already, lava is going to be like a central theme for this build, okay? It is gonna be wonderful. It really, really is. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna have ourselves uh, one lava bit in there. And then one lava bit in there. It doesn't need to be in all of them uh, because, you know, I don't think it needs it. Otherwise, I think we'd be going a bit too mad with it. Yeah, I like that. So it's going to provide a nice amount of light just sort of, you know, around the general area. I mean, m maybe not necessarily on the floor. Although with that said, I could maybe put lava down here, right? That could be a nice uh, light source for this uh, section of the pathway, huh? Ah, uh, I, I kind of blocked off the wrong area. Which... What did I block off? Oh, gosh darn it. I was meant to block off that area, not the... <laughs> oh, man. I'm just wasting blocks like a true professional. Gosh darn it, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to be like a, a, a semi-okay builder, but uh, yeah, I'm making stupid mistakes like that, huh? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. These guys again? Really? All right, well, oh, goodness me. All right, dead, dead, dead. All of you will die and perish in a blaze of glory. Ha! Yeah, 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 yeah. Gah! Die, will you? Oh, he's done. Okay, coolio. Right, okay, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting development. That's the second time I've had a pillager pro patrol come over here. All right, guys, just working on the entryway just a little bit. Let's have a look at this from a distance. Uh, okay, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, there's definitely a whole bunch more to be done to sort of bring the whole front section together. Uh, so I'll tell you what, let's do a little bit of this on camera with you guys. It's not often I do building on camera. I mean, for the most part, it's for good reason. It's because I'm not really that talented a commentator when it comes to building. Like, uh, I pretty much just say what's going on and not much else. Like, a lot of other people are capable of telling stories and whatnot. But uh, as I've said before, I'm not really a story-driven person. I'm sort of someone who, like, to just, I don't know, just get on with it, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, three, four, and then we go up, and there we go. So that's four blocks up, and then we go up, and then this would be the window area. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of these upside down stairs and sort of smooth off the area just a wee little bit. Okay, we're going to put some of these little blockeroos here, and then a slab. Okay, so let's pop down here again. Okay, so that's definitely starting to get there. To really wrap up this area, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, sort of 
add in the top section, like sort of the starting of the roof, I guess. This uh, this roof design is definitely a lot more of a complex one, but uh, we're certainly starting to get there. Right, so I need some slabs and stairs here. So, well, more specifically stairs. Uh, can I maybe like pop up here? There we go. Hey, I just realized it's snowing like up there. Huh. That must mean that some of my mansion might just wind up getting snowed on. <laughs> it's just this tiny little block here with snow. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. Now, it goes without saying, of course, the roof is probably going to go, uh, you know, at least several f more blocks into the sky. So there's a very real possibility that the top of my mansion here is going to wind up getting snowed on. And you know what? I'm kind of done with that. I kind of like it. You know, it's going to go well. It's going to blend well with the surrounding biome. You know, the snowy mountains in the background. I think that'll look really kind of nice, actually. Yeah, there we go, guys. So, yeah, we've got a couple of walls going on here. We've got to connect up the corners and then, of course, replicate this wall on this side and get another corner in. And then, yeah, this pathway will feel just a little bit more enclosed, which is the intended effect that we're going for today. Uh, like I say, this is going to be a multi-episode build. So, yeah, I think maybe the walls on the front will be about as far as we go today. And then, you know, as the coming episodes come along, we can work on the interior, the ceiling, whatever else needs to doing so yeah with the sides and the front done let's go ahead and maybe try to work on the corner now like i say this is going to be difficult so i may need just a little bit of time off camera here to try and figure out the shape all right ladies and gentlemen it is a bright and sunny morning here in minecraft and ladies and gentlemen check it out the front of the mansion is done guys check it out it's looking mighty mighty fine isn't it so yeah we've nicely enclosed this pathway now with all of the walls here we've got the corner walls in here as well as you can see uh, this did take a few different uh it, just, it took a few different iterations to get this right but i feel like i've gotten a really nice corner thing going on here and yeah we've got the corner windows which again i think look pretty cool and i've tried to smooth off as best i can anyway i've tried to smooth off the uh, top section going to the eventual ceiling for the mansion or manor or whatever you want to call it so yeah guys i mean i've gotten about as far as i want to get today uh there is one slight deviation again from the uh, creative test world and that is these lava falls at the entrance now obviously uh, you know it, it was night time just now and i woke up to begin this uh, progress update but the fact of the matter is this uh, used to be a snow type thing here right but there wasn't really much light going on so i decided you know what lava when in doubt, add lava. I mean, come on, man. It's just a good idea, isn't it? I mean, lava seems to be an integral part of this build theme. So why the heck not? All right, guys. And this is what it's looking like when it's got a bunch of lanterns on. And I think I made the right decision going for the yellow slash orange lanterns. Because they go a lot better, uh, you know, with the lava that's uh, that's here. So there's one thing I do want to do, though. And that's maybe uh, put the lanterns in the middle here upper block because as you can see they're all on the same level and i kind of don't like that so let's go ahead and uh, raise this up by a block so just chuck them on there we go and once again having a look at it from afar because that's going to be the best way we do this yeah that's good that's good so when it becomes nighttime once again we'll probably get a proper proper good feel for this place <laughs> all right guys so this dragon challenge comes from a user by the name of enzo milo or mellow who says uh, fight the dragon with fully enchanted wooden sword and leather armor okay that is a pretty fun sounding one to kick off the old dragon challenges now we're down here at the emerald bank guys because i need me some food oh yes i do let me grab myself a whole bunch of these here gold carrots because they are probably the best food source in the game uh and yeah we need to get ourselves a whole bunch of levels and then get ourselves some leather armor and some various other bits and bobs and i think we will be good to go obviously a wood sword is stupidly easy to make leather armor we have plenty of mob armor that i've uh, combined over the months that we've had this so uh, here we go and what's probably the quickest way of ranking up for us at the minute it's probably Probably trading actually so let's go ahead and do some of that and I'm hoping we'll get ourselves up to 30 levels right uh, is some of the XP gonna get trapped behind the block here oh yeah okay uh, I might have to open up this entrance just a little bit huh 
So I guess the question is, what kind of enchants are we looking for? Well, on the sword, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I'd actually like Unbreaking 3. The reason being is because I want it to last. This thing only has like 64 durability or something silly. Uh, unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3. Okay, what else have we got? Unbreaking 3 or Protection 3. I tell you, we'll go for Unbreaking 3. Why not? All right, boop. Okay. Interesting. Thorns too. That's going to absolutely drain the durability there. And it's trading time! <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I feel like I should make like a bell for when trading hours start. I think that'd be a pretty fun project to try and do at some point. Uh, but yeah, here we go. More trading! Yeah! Perfect! Sharpness 4 and Breaking 3. Literally perfect. I'm definitely down with that. Oh yeah, if you haven't figured out already, guys, we're not going to go ahead and put books on these uh, things here because I feel like we could get overpowered stuffs if we did that. So I'm just sort of hoping for the best enchantments. I mean, Protection 4 is good. Unbreaking 3 is kind of good as well, but I'd really like Feather Falling because I feel like that would be a really good thing to go into the end with. I know we've got Slow Falling Potions, but they only last 4 minutes for the extended one, so we've got 12 minutes worth of it. Alright, I was considering going for the Trousers, but you know what? Protection 4 just in general is just going to be good, isn't it? So there we go. Oh, Protection 4 again! Brilliant! Now, obviously, to make this perfect, we'd need on breaking three on it as well, and we did. Fantastic. Okay, so we've only got two bits of armor that don't have on breaking on. So, yeah, the boots and the helmet almost certainly will be the first things to get rid. Before doing anything, though, my friends, I'm going to do the comment of the day now because I don't want to have a chance of losing it. So, building suggestion from uh, Robert Christian. You could build a dragon head with lava flowing from his mouth. Keep walking, keep building, never give up. Love your Minecraft videos. Thank you so much for that. So, yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Since we're doing, like, a Blackstone build, it, it would fit really well if we did some sort of dragon head, maybe on top of it, like, on the roof or something. You know, so something that sort of dominates the entire build, like, on top of the entrance or something. Wow, believe it or not, guys, we've actually got, like, way more than enough to do this thing. So, it requires Eyes of Ender, Glass, and uh, Gas Tears. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. How many can we make? Nine? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we could probably take down the dragon twice if we really wanted to. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Unfortunately, since I reset my nether, it means I have to fly to the stronghold and not just go ahead and use the uh, nether portal. So yeah, a bit of a derp on my end, I guess. But uh, like I say, all of those portals, they're easily replaced. So all we need to do is go to negative 1500 on both the X and Z axis and we should be at the stronghold. Do you know what? I am actually kind of interested to see where this portal leads us now. I've got absolutely no idea. So let's pop through. And we are... Oh. This is this is the same exact portal. What? Oh, come on! Alrighty, guys. The only thing I will do is I will allow myself to fly up here. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to do this thing. Oh, man, to say that I'm nervous is the understatement of the century. I mean, we've got snow golems around here still. I mean, I guess that's pretty interesting. Uh-huh. All right, for the first time ever, guys, respawning. Oh! Oh, yeah, that, that sets you on fire. Okay. Uh, boop! There we go. Oh, I am excited and super nervous at the same time. Oh, yeah. And I've already taken damage from the freaking... I'm so dumb. Oh, wait, where's my pickaxe? I need my pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go. All right, so now that we don't have a bow, I guess we actually have to do this thing. I guess while we... I mean, the best time to do it is literally now, isn't it? While the dragon is still respawning in. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Ha, 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 ha. Ain't no way you're knocking me off there, sir. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, can I, like, shield myself? Oh! Yep, that kind of worked. Wait, where's the dragon? What? Wait, 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 wait. Where's the dragon? All right, guys. If it doesn't work this time, then I'm going to have to assume that it just won't, I guess. Um, yeah, in which case, there's something really wrong with my end. All right, let's go and do it again. So these are the final ones I have on my person. Right, are you, like, actually going to work this time? Oh, it's the snow golems. The snow golems did it. You son of a gun! 
Well, guys, you know what they say, you learn something new every day. So, yeah, all of the snow golems are now dead. Oh, man, that's so sad that I have to do that because they kind of, you know, distracted the Enderman real nicely. So, here we go. Now, it shouldn't be interrupted. Yep, that one's been respawned. Okay, so, like I say, uh, while this is respawning, I guess we could go ahead and do this thing real quick. So, we've got another potion of slow falling. Those things are on the way. Uh, okay, it got rid of a bunch of my ladders, but do you know what? No matter. No matter. Everything is fine. Just got to get up here. Okay, do this. Uh, hello? 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 What the? What the? Oh! Oh, yeah, that worked that time. I don't understand what happened there, but uh, whatever the case. Guys, we're doing this. Whew. I'm so nervous. Like, I really, really am. <laughs> Ooh! Alright, so yeah, these boxed ones, they they are priority. Let's just be frank here. Oh god, he's right there. Or she's right there. It's right there. The dragon's right there. The Dogon! I've got to be careful of the Dogon. Don't come near me. I will literally pee my pants. Whoop! There we go. Okay. Okay. Wait, how are we going to get the rest of them in which case? Ooh, what if I could use my slow falling to get over here? Whoa! Oh, close! Oh, darn it! Ah. That was almost a smooth move, guys. It was almost a smooth move. <laughs> I almost came out of that like an absolute professional. Ah, okay. Come on, baby. You can do this. You can do this. Yeah. Whoop. There we go. Yeah. I barely take... Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. Uh, did he just take thorns damage? I think he did. Right. Where's my uh, slow falling? Okay. Got about 40 seconds left. I'm going to see if I can't sort of catch myself here. Ah, there we go. That's how we roll. Oh, no. I'm going to run out of blocks, aren't I? Four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, oh, I run out of blocks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got ladders. Okay, go it up. Go it up, baby. Go it up. Uh, go it up. Go it up like a pro. Whoop. Ah, okay. That hurt. Uh, I'm not so sure I'll be able to catch myself on this one. Bah. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get up that one. Darn it, man. All right, well, it's probably safe to go down anyway because uh, we need ourselves some more blocks. We need to get ourselves another full potion going, and then we'll be good. Come on, baby. Catch yourself. Ah, no. Oh, no, I messed that one up. Ah, I was hoping to catch myself on the ladder there and get back up there. Ah, darn it. All right, well, there's one more pillar. I think this is the last one, and then we're on to the fight itself, ladies and gentlemen, where, let's be honest, the only damage we'll be able to do is when she's on the pedestal. Which is also the most dangerous way of taking down the dragon, to be honest with you. I've got to be honest. I am fearing for my life. Okay, I think that's all of them. That is all of them, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It's time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, she's coming down as well. She's coming down. She's coming down. Oh, my God. Three hearts of damage. Come on. Oh. Uh, okay. That, uh, that was a lot of damage. Thanks. Appreciate that. That was a hell of a lot of damage, bro. What? This is insane! Not as an Enderman after me. Son of a... What? Not today, sir. Oh, I'm so glad I'm on a shield. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, the freaking knockback. Oh, God. Oh, oh. son of a... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> the thorns damage seems to be doing more damage to her. Than, uh, than I am. Ooh, it is absolutely ripping through my freaking chest plate, though, guys. Oh, my goodness me. We've got to be super careful of that. To be honest with you guys, there's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts in this because a lot of the time, I'm just going to be waiting for her to come down to a little pedestal and then we can sort of kill her from there, hopefully. I wonder if I could put a cover above the portal. That way, she can't, like, fling me away. But then, if I do that, there's always the chance that she will just absolutely tear me to pieces. Oh! What? Wow. Wow. Just, just, just wow. Um. Yeah. I, 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 I just got torn to pieces, guys. I just got absolutely torn to shreds. <laughs> well, in my opinion, it's not a challenge if you don't do it in one life. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's a sad state of affairs when it's the case. But our first ever dragon challenge 
We failed it, guys. We have failed it. We have to do it in one life. That's the only other stipulation I'm going to give myself. Otherwise, it's not really a challenge. It's just a case of just going back there and just trying to take it out of the game. In which case, uh, yeah, we failed the challenge. So... That's, that's probably not a good start, right? That's not a really a good uh, good indicator of things to potentially come. So, eek. <laughs> I'll probably go and get my stuff back uh, between episodes. I mean, to be honest, there's not really much there. It's just my pickaxe and a light job, which are both fairly easily replaced at this point. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I kick my microphone by accident, we're going to end the episode there on that rather sad note. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. We done fair with it, guys. I mean, come on. We, we did give it a good... We did give it a good effort, didn't we? We took down all of the pillars. We did take down... I mean, we took our health down a little bit, at least. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Head down to the comments area. Let me know your dragon challenge suggestions. And you never know, you might just get yours picked out. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.